Hi, well it's a lovely sunny morning. The weather's been a bit choppy. I'm at Wimpole Hall for the Bodgers Ball. So that's Wimpole Hall near Cambridge. And we're having a lovely time here. Uh, I'll give you a little look around the field in just a sec. I've been running leather courses for a couple of days in the lead up to the ball. And now I'm just enjoying the ball itself. And there's so much to see. So we have another wonderful large marquee here. And um, I'm always impressed by the size of these. At the moment, lots of activity. We've got some challenges going on. I think the half hour challenge is going on at this minute where people have to make something in half an hour. We've got a good turnout. We've got, I think, 450 advanced ticket sales <laughs> and probably quite a few more on the door. This is the largest green woodworking event that we know of at the moment uh, held in the UK and we rotate it around the country. It's a lovely atmosphere and it's lovely you come along and you meet lots of old friends and you have a good chat about all things woody. So the, the Bodges Ball starts on a Friday evening. We have pre-ball courses on the uh, Thursday and Friday before. So you can learn anything from blacksmithing through to bowl turning, through to leather work. And at the moment we've got a nice lot going on. It's the Saturday morning, so we're all fairly fresh at the moment. Uh, goes on tomorrow and then finishes Sunday afternoon. So here's part of the camping field. It's actually massive as it goes around the other side as well. And I'm around the other side. I was a bit sort of surprised because I was woken, as usual, with the dawn chorus. And it's lovely, you get all this bird song. <laughs> But then you seem to get a whole lot of other animals on top because we're in a very deep rural area. And so it, there were Canada geese flying over at one point. Uh, the hens came on a bit after the main birds and then you had the cockerels. And yeah, quite a noisy, quite a fun though, dawn chorus. Rather nice really. Don't mind being woken up by something like that. It's a natural sound. And yeah, actually I got back to sleep because you walk around so much here, uh, you get tired. So you sleep well, which is good. The charity Tools for Self Reliance was at the Bodgers Ball and they always bring along an excellent range of tools and it's great fun going through all of these and seeing what there is. I got a couple of very nice awl blades, so very pleased with that. Certainly if you're trying to build up a collection it's a great opportunity. Lots of other displays, I mean there's one here of some nice samples of different woods and it's quite good to see them side by side and of course lots of wood for sale. So some nice bits of oak. I enjoyed this display. It was of a, a hewn out uh, log boat and it showed all the ancient tools that had been used. So this is recreating history and seeing how our ancestors actually made things and really quite an amazing project this one but very interesting to see it. Camping Field had lovely wildflowers. Really impressed by some of the turning um, and these are items here from the half hour challenge. So a lovely little fan bird. People have to make something in half an hour. We'll have a good fun hedgehogs, a nice spoon. Um, also there were a couple of brooms and a batch of tent pegs all made by the same person. Dice there and a little cup that was made all in half an hour. And here are the brooms and the tent pegs. Quite a volume of output to do that in half an hour. And there's a bin bag holder at the end. Slightly unbodgery in a way, but rather good. All the usual competitions, I'll put a separate film up about these. So these are examples of rather good fun one there, of the armchairs and also lovely entries like this eel trap in the craft ones. So plenty to see. I'm in the main marquee at the moment and in here we've got all the bowl turning lathes which we use for the pre-ball ball courses. Again, I'll flip round and give you a little look at some of these. So I think there are about eight or so here. Ball turning has become very popular and um, it's a great fun skill. This is a typical ball turning lathe. So down below you have a foot pedal and there's a bungee at the top. You could obviously use a springy 
uh, tree stake as well. But these are done partly for compactness. And then fairly heavy duty lathe bed. And then that's your tool rest. And you've got your two poppets for holding your bowl to bowl. You use a man draw to mount the bowl. I have popped a film up actually of turning a bowl. When it's the film where I forge bowl turning hooks. So if you dig back in history, you'll find it. But you get these lovely little shavings coming off. Got our chair in the day in for the auction. So it's still standing strong. This is a chair, there's a film put up, but basically where the Kent Bodgers made this chair in one day. So we cut the tree down and had the chair completed under moonlight. One of the good things if you're a member of Bodgers, you get this very nice, good gazette to learn all about green woodworking and what other people are doing. So no, he shakes his head. 100 I have, we're here to sell. 100 I have, all done sure. Right, knot number 69 is a very interesting chair. It is made by the Kent Group as a chair in the day project. Um, so it is unique. That side of the room against the wall. 80 I have, 80 I have. When have you paid so little for a day's skilled work? 80, do I see 120? 115 I have, we're here to sell. 115, are you all done and sure? 115. Name please, Pat. The check shirt, 280, 280. 290, 290. I'm here to sell, 315, are you all done and sure? 315. Yeah! Name please. I always quite enjoy looking at different tent designs that people have, and some people have stoves as well. I'll just flip round. So here are some rather nice ones. And this is the other side of the camping field. So I'm deep over there, buried in the hedge, and <laughs> nicely protected. But I seem to have a pile of ants coming into my tent at the moment. So a bit of an invasion. Thank you.